mouthwateringly delicious. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome back to another bundle banter. This will be our very first bundle banter from Fanatical, and it is a mystery bundle. The Mystery Egg Bundle 2, to be exact. They do have five bundles that are worth like over a thousand dollars each. I didn't get really close to a thousand dollars, but it's still a pretty good value for money, all things considered, so... Let's unveil some of these games, we'll do some calculations, and we'll see exactly what these games are worth. Without any further ado, let's jump into it and check out that first game. King's Bounty, Warrior of the North. Not too bad, all things considered. It's a turn-based strategy RPG, which, yeah, that puts us off to a great start. You know I love that. Let's look up the Steam prices for the US, 10 bucks. UK, 7 pounds. Philippines, 320 pesos, which is uh, about a 40% savings. So I'm actually going to do the calculations on the US prices and the Philippines prices. Because those are my two options. I feel it would also behoove me to check the lowest price ever on Is There Any Deal? So the historical low for King's Bounty Warriors of the North was $1.73. And the current best, if you were to buy it today, $2.49. So definitely a far cry from $10, but still not too bad considering we paid $7 for the entire bundle. So what is the next game? Super Inefficient Golf. Basically bombs on a golf course with some wacky physics. Uh, it has an online scoreboard, and I didn't have it, so that's pretty cool. I also didn't have Warriors of the North. But let's check out some pricing. Five bucks in the US, five pounds in the UK, 160 pesos, which is about $3.16. So not too bad. How about is there any deal? 99 cents is the lowest price. It was on Steam. And a buck fifty is the current best, so... That's not too bad either. I don't know if I could see myself playing this. Maybe it would make like a decent party game or something like that, but I'm not I'm not too much of a sports fan, but golf is barely a sport, is it? <laughs> Anyways, let's see what we got next. Iron Storm. Huh. Well, <laughs> it is an alternate history first person shooter that looks pretty awful honestly but it actually feels pretty decent to play pricing we've got three dollars in the US two pounds in the UK 100 pesos in the Philippines so not too bad all things considered I guess it's a good value for money lowest price 54 cents current best 56 cents so yeah not an exceedingly popular game by any means but it, it holds up okay all things considered I feel like the first game was really great and the next two were not as good, so hopefully the fourth game will blow my pants off. Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast. <laughs> you know this game. It is starting to age quite a bit as well, but really nothing beats flipping out with a lightsaber. When are we going to get a remaster of this game? That's what I want to know. We'll check some prices. 10 bucks in US dollars, 720 pounds, 290 pesos. Not too bad, considering the amount of time that you could put into this game. It is quite expansive. Let's check the lowest prices. 155 is the lowest price ever. Wow, I would have bought it for that. <laughs> 249 for current price. Only on the Mac game store. Oof. I don't do that mackle. That, that mapple. But still, Jedi Outcast is a pretty good game, although it is fairly common. You could probably get a, a good trade for it if you go on Steam Trades or something like that. Which is probably what I'll do with uh, extras in this bundle, including Star Wars Jedi Knight 2. Space Overlords. Huh, haven't heard of it. Apparently for good reason, because this is our first actual flop. It's kind of a PvP hack and slash mech game, but it lacks players. And considering that the whole goal in this game is destroying the environment, the destructive... <laughs> The, the environments aren't even that destructible, so this game is kind of a, a, a victim of its budget from what it looks like. Let's see how much it costs. Speaking of budget, we've got $8 in the US, £6 in the UK, 2 60 in the Philippines, which is much more than I would pay for it. It's almost as much as I paid for this entire actual bundle, which seems a shame. Let's see if we could get it cheaper. Historical low, $0.90. Cents. Current best, a buck fifty-nine. 
Still not too bad, but uh, it's more than I would pay for it now that I've had a decent look at it. I do love PvP games, but generally where you're fighting the other players, not just like score attacking against them. You know what I mean? Check out my Awesome Knots videos. Shameless plug. So that puts us halfway through the bundle. Let's see what we've got for game number six. Damned. Oh, I do have this game. It's like uh, survival horror, four players versus one monster. Kind of like a low budget Dead by Daylight, um, if I can peg it as that. It's $19 in the US, 1550 pounds in the UK, 450 pesos in the Philippines. Which, uh, that's, that's a pretty pricey game. That's the priciest one thus far. Very nice. Lowest prices, we've got historical low of $3. Current best is actually $16.68. My goodness. And the most beautiful part of that is, it's actually an extra key for me. Ha <laughs> ha. I already had this game in my library, so. Wonderful. I'm, I'm gonna try and make a good trade with that one. And with that said, let's jump into game number seven. Black Hole. Oh my god, I did a review for this one. I love Black Hole. It is an amazingly difficult gravity-based platform puzzler that totally blew my pants off when I played it. I just played it a little bit for the review and I was like, oh my god. It's made by a bunch of Czech guys and they are absolute geniuses. Mad scientists. Let's check out some of the pricing for this game. It is an indie title, so yeah. $9 in the US, £6 in the UK, 2 90 in the Philippines. Which really, that's a steal. As much as this game will bend your brain if you enjoy puzzlers, I don't know. I think it's worth maybe even paying full price. I really, really like this title. Lowest price ever, we've got a dollar and a dollar seventy-nine currently. So that's not too bad. I would definitely snatch it up for that much. But considering that I already have this game, I'm going to throw it in my Discord server. So check the link in the description for my Discord server and then you can head to the giveaways and sales and hit up the giveaway bot by hitting a little emoji and you'll be entered to win that game. We're doing giveaways pretty often over there, so stop on by. My Discord server needs some more spice in it. Let's jump into the eighth game. Whoo! Mortal Kombat X Premium Edition. Well, Mortal Kombat is an all-time classic fighter. I might not be able to find online fights anymore due to Mortal Kombat 11 being the current hot ticket, but that's fine for me. I'm mostly in it for the single player stuff anyways. Let's check out the pricing. 20 bucks in the US, 16 pounds in the UK, 500 pesos in the Philippines. Not bad prices, all things considered. Let's see the lowest prices. Lowest price ever, $2.50. Current best, $6.79, which is about what I paid for this entire bundle, so that is sweet. This bundle is definitely picking it up in the latter half. I like that a lot. Almost to the end now, we've got our ninth game, and it is... Middle Earth Shadow of War Definitive Edition. Alright, I've got that game already, but pretty cool. It is a fantastic hack and slash RPG with a super unique nemesis system that like upgrades enemies whenever they kill you. To me, this is the highlight of the bundle, so absolutely my favorite out of these thus far. Let's check out the pricing for Definitive Edition. Holy shit. <laughs> $60 in in the US and uh 1600 pesos in the UK or er, in the Philippines. Wow. That is that is more than I thought. Surely surely it's going to get blown up when we look at the lowest pricing. Not really. <laughs> 1052 is the historical low, which considering I paid $7 for the entire bundle. Wow. That that's a great value for money. Uh current best is seventeen ninety nine, so holy heckers. I am really happy with this. <laughs> I said that it was the highlight of the bundle and and now I really mean it. So again, I already have the game. I don't want to use the key just to upgrade myself to definitive edition because I already played through Shadow of War, so I'll be hanging on to this one for a little bit. Try to make a trade with it, I suppose, or uh, end up giving it away in the Discord server at some point, which is always nice. Alright, we're finishing strong, so here is the last game. Blitzkrieg 2 Anthology. <laughs> ah, foot, meat, mouth. My goodness. Well, it's a World War II RTS title, and... 
it kind of holds up decently despite being a decade and a half old. Like the AI and maps need a little bit of help, but it's a decent title to relax with. And Blitzkrieg 3 is on my wish list, so I don't know. I guess it's nice that I'm able to fill out the uh, Blitzkrieg games just a little bit more because the original Blitzkrieg is, is part of my childhood. But let's check out the pricing. We've got five bucks in the US, four pounds in the UK, 165 pesos in the Philippines. Lowest price ever, 75 cents, and the current best is two dollars. So that's not too bad, all things considered. Let's uh, do the quick math here. So let's look at the pricing now. We'll do a little bit of quick math and uh, for the Steam pricing in US dollars, if you were to buy each of these games, it would be $149.90, which is basically 2,000% more than the $7 that I paid, which <laughs> that's absolutely crazy. A lot of people don't trust third-party sites like Fanatical or Indie Gala, but if you're into indie games like this, oh, they can save you so much money. Holy crap! 2,000%? What? Insanity. So if we were to go onto my Philippines Steam storefront and buy all these games in Philippine pesos, it would cost $81.78, which is still a 1,000% increase from the $7. Over a thousand percent, but you know, I, I can't be quite exact completely. That is still absolutely insane. Eighty dollars, oof, that is sixty six percent of my rent. No way that I'm going to pay that. So, if I can get it for seven, ooh, you better believe I'm gonna do it. Is there any deals? Current best pricing, if you went around to all those sites, you would end up paying fifty three dollars and eighty six cents, which is still a six hundred and seventy percent increase from that seven dollars which is absolutely insane, man. How is this even possible? Okay, surely the lowest price ever will, will make a bit more sense, right? So if we look at is there any deals lowest ever pricing, you would pay $23.49 for all of these 10 games, which seems reasonable until you realize that I got them for $7. So that is a 235% increase. And I don't understand why anybody would pay 235% more for anything, ever. <laughs> so, even if you are like a Steam purist or something like that, roll the dice, dude. Take a chance on Fanatical because ugh, it can it can really pay off. Now, obviously, some bundles out there are probably, you know, a bit less nice than this one. I did only buy the one where some people are out there buying like 5 to 10, but I ain't got that kind of money because, like I said, I live in the Philippines. <laughs> $80 is like two-thirds of my rent, so I definitely can't buy 10 of these, but for the one that I got, I am extremely, extremely satisfied, although I've always had a sort of naturally high luck stat, so that probably has something to do with it. But yeah, I decided to take a chance on this one because one, I wanted to see how I would do, and two, I figured if I got some extra keys and stuff, I could either trade them or give them away, so that is exactly what I'm going to be doing. And considering the fact that I get to trade or give away Mortal Kombat X and Shadow of War Definitive Edition, that is mouthwateringly delicious. I could probably just sell it for PayPal Cash on Steam Trades and, and get my money back if I were so inclined. So my mind is somewhat blown. I'd really like to see what's contained in like those thousand dollar bundles or whatever, because I can't even think of ten games to put together. That would equal one thousand dollars. <laughs> I'm sure somebody out there wins them, but shit, I ain't ever seen it. So, if you do win, let me know, and I'll slap that up on the channel and do some calculations for you, cause you know we love calculations around here. But anyways, friends, I'm gonna get out of here. This has been the Mystery Egg Bundle Two from Fanatical, our very first Fanatical bundle banter. And I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video somewhere, and spread the word of Dayton Does. That is always massively appreciated. We've also got links in the description to Twitter, Discord if you want to get in on that black hole giveaway, and Patreon, of course. And a big shout out to Nika the Legend for supporting us on the Patreon. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I shall see you again quite soon. So until then, friends, bye bye one, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye.
Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.